but it's one that you can set back. So, where are you going to go? Here's, I have his left leg. And this is what I want to do. I want to get underneath him. This is my half drop position. I don't want to cross my feet. I want to pinch my knees so I can get my right ear to his belt line and my right hand goes across his hip line and I clamp. And my far hand, my left hand, I'll be from another angle. I'm driving him forward and I'm extending his leg so I can move my hips in and out here. And I leave my hand here. If he tries to posture up, you shouldn't be able to posture up. Okay? Because this has to be applying pressure down on his lower back and driving him forward. So lift your hands up the mat. Come on. Keep your hands on the mat. <laughs> so if you lift his hands off the mat, can you can no, hold it no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. So as I'm driving him forward, I keep driving the pressure so that his hands are committed so he can't posture up. If you can posture up, he can begin to counter. That half foot. So what I would like you guys to do is as you're mounted here, your right elbow is monitoring his knee so that he does not get off my hip. Because here at least I have the ability to possibly lift my hips and shift his weight. That, so you went from here to turning onto your right side. Your elbow is gonna push that knee. No, let me push it. Yep. As your right elbow comes, uh, your right knee comes towards your elbow, and you push it all the way through here. And I can pinch this right here. I don't want to do this. As I pinch, I turn, and I get this under. If I nudge him with the shoulder. And I reclamp and I get to here. Okay? So you have to be able to get into this particular half guard so that you're going to be able to exit this position. This is your underhook side. He's got an underhook. Whenever somebody's got an underhook, one underhook, that means the other person's got the other one. This is my underhook. It wouldn't make sense for me to turn to my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, left side because, I mean, meaning to my right side because he's gonna go in an S mount because he's gonna have the underhook. If I start turning, turning this way here, he'll slide his knee up and then I have somewhat of a problem here, okay? So what I wanna do is, as we were here, I'm blocking and I'm monitoring his hip. I'm not grabbing, okay? I'm blocking here. So what I wanna do is make it easy. I'm gonna put this knee on the mat even if he keeps his foot flat, okay, I'm gonna walk this foot out and it's gonna get under his foot and I'm gonna bring my knee towards my elbow and I'm gonna push this down here. I can pinch it here. I wanna pinch it so I can begin to shift his weight here, up, down, up. If he starts pushing back into me here, you have the ability to shift his weight over because he is, <laughs> your left hand blocking his other knee. Okay, so let's try from this side. Look, I'm fighting here, here, look, from this here, here, here. Look, one, two, knees, and I'm gonna crunch, shift his weight. I'm constantly pushing here. Because if I don't want to go out that back door, if I don't, if he pushes back into me, I don't have the ability to shift his weight down. Okay, so all you're gonna do is, you're gonna bring your right elbow, your right knee, pinch, and you're gonna put your knee. Does that make sense? Let's try. Don't overcomplicate it.